Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. I've decided it's time for us to go and kill Mouthheel and stop beating around the bush with regards to this part of our season journey. It's going to be dangerous. It's, um, it's not even the right difficulty level. I've just realised that. Right, let's, uh, let's try this again. Back to town very quickly. Now I could of course just start uh, uh, re-recording and uh, pretend like I didn't make that massive mistake, but it's actually a good opportunity for us to, to talk about what's coming up. Uh, right, start straight on in there. Um, after we've done Malthiel, uh, as I said uh, in the last episode, uh, we need to be working on our conquests. We still need to do a T12 uh, rift inside of six minutes. In order to do that, I'm going to be swapping over um, Bindings of the Lesser Gods to uh, Nemesis Braces. And from there, let me just go to Act 5, um, we'll be putting Bindings of the Lesser Gods into the cube. So we're going to have a little bit less on our defense, but that should still be okay for us. Right, let's try this again at the correct difficulty level. Because survivability is not really a problem for us, uh, especially at T12. Um, but having extra mobs and extra packs that you can summon on a whim is going to be really, really useful for us. Certainly if we want to get that done inside the time limit. I don't think the time limit's unreasonable. It's just like constantly adding stuff to our build in order to make things go a little bit faster. Um, I took a, a moment off camera as well to assemble what we have for Yuliana's build. I think there's one one item that I still need. And that's the one that turns uh, seven sided strike into a 14 sided strike. But generally speaking, um, we've got everything that I would want for it. I don't know if it's the right build, air quotes, right build, um, but it seems to be okay in terms of um, actually hitting things and exploding lots and, and all that kind of stuff, which is kind of what you need. Obviously not going to have like perfected weapons or, or any, anything of the sort. But again, uh, none, none of the builds that we put together at the moment do have perfect, perfect items. We've got some pretty good items though. I'm very happy with how the season's gone so far. Let's uh, hurry on. This is taking actually quite a while to to find the way forwards. I'm not actually looking to do this bounty. Right, there we go. Finally! Pandemonium Fortress. Now this could go terribly wrong, and if I die, I will be quite disappointed, I'm sure. Um, but there's nothing to say we can't potentially level up another... Um, another monk. Although it probably would have been smart to uh, work on getting a gem of ease up to 25 so that we could uh, equip a big ass uh, weapon right from the start. Right, let's. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm keeping up our... Oh my god, those colds. Those colds are the worst. Uh, I was keeping up our um, mantra for the extra resistances while the allies were blocking the way in. It's not going badly. It's not going particularly quickly.
but I'm I'm happy enough with how that section went. Now, obviously, he does that charge straight in, which takes off so much health. Nope. Which way is he facing? That way. We've got our invincibility back anyway. A lot of dodging that we did there. Where is he going this time? Facing that way, okay. I think we're going to be okay. That hurts a bit. There we go. Dead is dead. Malthiel is gone. Goodbye to a world is ticked off. And I'm very happy. Uh, not just because we didn't die, but because that's been kind of my white whale for a little bit. And that only took seven minutes. And we got three death breaths from him. I have three dying mouth heal breaths. Which uh, doesn't quite give us enough to do anything. Oh, actually no, that gives us 26. So we could. We could try upgrading something. Okay. Um, right, if I'm going to do Yuliana's at some point, I need another fist weapon. So rather than gambling for single-handed stuff, I'm just going to upgrade one, and we can hope. Uh, now, I've already put uh, the one that I would have wanted in the cube, um, so I do feel a little bit foolish about that, but uh, out of the way. Right, not extract, not reforge, upgrade rare item. Oh, the crystal fist is an interesting one. I mean, I'd almost be tempted to put that in the um, in the cube itself. Let's uh, actually was this no, this wasn't the dashing strike one. Was this the dashing strike one? Yeah, so that that could work. Uh, so we've got this, but also I think it's the uh, the lion's claw, and I've already put the lion's claw in the cube, which is a shame because I need the cube for the two-handed. Um, weapon for Yuliana's. But anyway, I digress. Uh, we've got two Greater Rift Keystones, so we're going to hop in and do some Greater Rifts now. Uh, down this way. I know where I'm going. Right, Greater Rift. Uh, we're going to run at 63 because we're capable of doing that. And hope we get decent Rifts. Ah, cool. Blues already. That's definitely a bit dangerous sitting right in the middle of all that. As we as we really know, I dislike fire chains quite significantly. But it wasn't a bad start. Not the fastest start, of course.
Now the other thing about uh, when we do move on to running uh, T12 rifts and try and do them nice and quickly. Um, because we'll be uh, wearing Nemesis braces, we're going to have to remember that when we come into Greater Rift. It won't be a problem when we're leveling the uh, Boon of the Hoarder. And that's probably what we're going to end up doing with that, mostly. Shield pylon. Right, let's get straight in on these guys. Don't care about any of your frozen antics. Good damage, good damage. Keep him coming. One more gone, one more gone. And look at that. I'd consider that good progress. That's not actually going to be the way we need to go. We've still got half our shield pylon left, so let's find something else interesting to engage with. He says, finding a ton of boring ass little scorpion things yeah not massively enamored with this uh, this rift at the moment good progress when uh, when we get a nice cluster of those big spiders together. All right, let's um, let's see if we can find something more interesting, like a power pylon. Yeah, I can't imagine doing this without the um, extra protection from spirit guards. I think it would be quite dangerous running a 63. Right, pushing on. Let's hope this area is a bit better. Hello, people. This is already looking better. That is actually quite painful as well. So let's bear in mind that there are ranged things which... Oh my god. Uh, which leave fire under the feet. Fire and poison underfoot, not a great combination. Oh, I'll just die, there we go. Right into the middle of everyone. Let's get them all in here. Very, very painful in there. But, no guts, no glory. And that definitely panned off. I mean, look at our progress. Channeling Pylon, yes. I'm sorry, am I pretty much always invincible? I think I'm pretty much always invincible. Fun while it lasted. Certainly made uh, good progress. That's very tactical uh, use of my various buffs there. 
to keep our health up long enough that I can activate the allies and get the healing boost from them. Because that in itself is quite significant. Where are we going? I think we're going down this way. Yeah, this is the right way. Oh, we may as well kill the last mobs before we go. We've got plenty of time now, so... That'll do. They probably got that last one just before I came through. Ooh, hello. Quite a lot of uh, health in this pack. Right, he's gone. How about his friends? You know what? They're they're only minions. They're only minions. That might come back to bite me in the ass, but I don't think it's worth us sticking around to fight them. Alright, pushing on. Good timing with the convention of elements there. Massively increasing the damage of our mystic allies. This one I could have timed better. I did it just a little bit too early. But they're still doing a significant amount. They are all gone. Cool. Out of my way, little frappy mobs. I'm not interested in you. Well, I mean, everything needs to die, of course, but... There's no specific reason for me to kill them above any anything else. Although they are giving reasonable amounts of progress, so... Ninety-five percent, we are very close to the Rift Guardian time. Let's get the allies popped while they're on blue. Nice cold damage boost from the convention. Although sometimes it's just not necessary. Speed pylon. Hello, Escandiel. All that extra damage from the speed pylon. Look at it go. <laughs> And 4 minutes, 5 seconds. That's significantly faster than the previous one. That's almost an entire 2 minutes up. Right, okay. So we're going to carry on with our gems, of course. 
question is, do we just start massively pumping them into... Oh, no. Individually. Hmm. Interesting that that was the uh, the Conqueror level one. I mean, we're still going to go up to, to 65. Uh, I think probably pushing damage up is going to be our best immediate gain. Right. Hand all that in. Let's go IDR stuff, see if we've got anything cool. And while that's happening, we can put our various garrison points in. All of these, of course, are helping us out with survivability and extra damage and other other fun things. So in the sandals, they're going to get salvaged. Plaque thorns salvaged. Binding of the Lost. That is... Better than the other one, as far as the percentage goes. So that's good. Reinhardt's just going to get salvaged. Salgart decimated, that's going to get salvaged. All these are going to get salvaged. Let's do that now. So, gone, 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 gone. All of that gives us 48 forgotten souls, so not quite enough to roll something new. Uh, what I will do very quickly is I will equip our Yuliana set and then put the correct one of these on. And then resave it. So this is what I've, uh, I've got for set up at the moment. Uh, spirit guards. Uh, if I go to cubed items, we've got the flow of eternity in there for seven sided strike, uh, reducing the cooldown significantly. Uh, we've got Gundo gear, of course, for the exploding palm thing, because uh, we've got a perfect spirit guards here. That's fine. And it's got cold skill damage boost on it, which is awesome, because the exploding palm we're doing is the impending doom one. Convention of elephants. Um, of course, trumpeting away quite happily. And for the moment, I've got Shenlong's Fist of Legend and Little Rogue in there. But really, what we're going to end up with is... Uh, t -t 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 -t. It's going to be the, the Lion's Fist and... I forget what the other one is. I don't think I have either of them in any version at the moment which is a real shame uh, but anyway that's uh, that's the setup we're gonna have let's uh, let's change back to our mystic ally one and we'll put little rogue down in here i mean shenlong's fist of legend is pretty awesome anyway spirit generates increase uh, uh sorry damage of spirit generators inc is increased by two percent for each point of spirit you have and then all damage is increased and then it gradually runs down. But because we're not really going to be doing that, I think that's going to go well with maybe the Raiment of a Thousand Storms. But that, that's, uh, that's something to debate another time. Right, we've still got one more Greater of Keystone. So let's jump in and we'll do another one and that will round out this, uh, this episode. Uh, we'll keep it at 63 for the moment. So that's manageable. There we go, that's pretty nice. I like the ghosts in this game. I think they're they're really well done. You know, they're just ethereal enough that you get the feeling that you know that there's an actual spirit there, but they're not—they're not, they're not wishy-washy. They feel like they've got some substance to them. And it's too often done with ghosts that they've got their, they've got no clout to them, and I think that is a, a mistake. Geez, that was actually getting quite painful in there. I was trying to dashing strike out, but it just wasn't working. Probably because this guy is like frozen pulsing all over the place. But it's still still very not cool. We are quite behind time actually on this at the moment. 
That frozen pulse is annoying. And this guy jumping around all over the place isn't helping things. Right. Let's try and make up some time. Yeah, nice big packs, but I can hit lots. And there's a yellow thing in there as well. Oh my word, stop making me run away, everyone. If I, if I choose to run away, that's different. I think we're getting through them. Right, just you. Just you and your minions. No extraneous distractions. My word, that was that was frustrating. But oh no! Not only are we going to be really deadly, but we're also going to make you run away every couple of moments. And we're going to surround ourselves with extra mobs that love to uh, to knock you about. So, yeah. The only thing that would have been, like, worse would have been if somehow it was uh, a waller as well. Yeah, that was, uh, that was quite painful, so definitely worth me popping the healing at that point. Keeping all the buffs up that I can. Just this guy to go, and his illusions, of course, but they're not going to be much of an issue. And nice. More arcane enchanted, but thankfully we've got a bit of space to manoeuvre this time, so that should be okay. As long as we don't get knocked out by things all the time. They're Moltons as well, so we've got to watch out for that. I do like the uh, the different affixes that the uh, the monsters get as well. It it adds a lot of character to the game, and I think them introducing Juggernaut was a really really nice idea. I'd like to see more affixes that don't aren't necessarily like um, game breaking, but just add a bit of colour to stuff. And I don't just mean like um, recolouring the mobs, but um, stuff like um, the farting that you get from. Greed. You know, it could be uh, moderated so that it's uh, it's well balanced, but just so there's a bit more variety in the kind of mobs that you can come up against. Right, let's uh, let's push on. We don't need to be fighting those minions. We've managed to get time back on our side. As you can see, uh, doing 52%, that's all right. Oh, geez, where are we going? We're going back this way, are we? All right. Back down and round. Time is on our side, he says, and then immediately finds a dead end. But this is going to be awesome.
massive damage beast. And a shield pollen as well. Well, shield pollen's a little bit overkill. We're not in any danger of dying at the moment. And that's another thing, because I, I was uh, I was comfortable enough running 63s. We have had a couple of uh, scary moments, but Malthiel isn't tougher than a GR63. As long as you you're not a blazing idiot about how you play and just like stand there and take his uh, his cold damage. You should be okay. He does have things that you need to watch out for, of course, like uh, that charge that I mentioned. Because that does take off a significant amount of your health, no matter how you gear yourself. And because it happens at the cutscene, you can't exactly dodge it either. Knockback Horde, Electrified Poison, and Chiantics. Okay. Also known as Dead. Also known as Dead. Let's just get these guys finished off because they're on low health anyway. Bang. Mystic Allied Guy does feel very tanky. Oh, look at this. This is going to be painful when they all die, but it's going to be so impressive when they all die. Serenity. <laughs> Man, they actually exploded a bit faster than I expected. Still, that was fun. That was so fun, let's do it again. Bit of a distraction from the actual rift, I know. Uh, these guys don't need to die. But it's so much fun killing them. And, you know, watching them explode like that. One of them's gone. It could be the dashing strike just doesn't do anything if you're already in melee range with, with mobs. So I've ended up accidentally targeting something that's right next to me. That's something I hadn't considered. Probably should have saved that power pile for the Rift Guardian. But, uh... Whoa! Yeah, I only just got that shield up in time there. That would have been very nasty if that had gone off. Ninety-eight percent. There's not much left of this rift before the rift guardian. There we go. Just in time for everything to run off, of course. Not much health left, come on, just just finish it off. Three minutes, 50 seconds left. And look at all the wonderful, wonderful bits that we've got. Okay, well, uh, seeing as this is now 60%, we may as well just keep pushing it up until it drops below 60%, because that extra damage will help us 
quite drastically. Five for five. Very happy with that. So that only needs another three levels. We can do one more level at a 63 and then start focusing on the other gems. And then think about upping the difficulty. But that is, that is truly excellent. That makes me feel very happy. So let's only do these and then we'll bring this episode to a close. Unity, don't care. Band of Hollow Whispers, don't care. Exarion, don't care. Julianus Fury. Let's, uh, let's have a look. How does it compare? We'll keep it as a spare. Look, any prowls don't care. All the rest of this can get salvaged up. And we'll go back to asking for boots. And what a disappointing run to finish on. Okay, well, there's one more thing that we can do. Let's, uh, let's salvage all of that up. We're going to grab this and we're going to reforge it. Seeing as we've got enough Forgotten Souls, reforged Legendary. We're going to have to potentially do some bounties soon. So what we're looking for is we're looking for something that's equivalent to this, but ancient. Because then we can put a socket in it. And yeah, it's worse damage, worse dexterity, worse vitality. Slightly better Mystic Ally damage, but I mean, I'd I'd be tempted to. And you know what? Uh, where's Miriam? So Miriam, this. Dexterity. Could we have more dexterity, please? Or maybe I should re-roll the vitality into damage. Because if I get the vitality into damage, we'll, we'll lose a significant amount of health. But we're not really struggling for health. We're certainly not going to take a socket. Because we can add a socket with a Ramalam and Ding Dong. And the question is, like, how much difference will that make to our toughness? Will it be, like, a full 10%? It's going to be more than that. Probably re-rolling the dexterity at this point is going to be best for us. Oh, what a wonderful increase. All right. All right. I'm, I'm done with this episode. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, it has, of course, been uh, more rifts. Um, in fact, before we finish, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Nemesis Braces on uh, so that I remember that we're going to be running T12. And we'll swap this over for Bindings of the Lesser Gods. So next time, we're going to be running T12. Uh, we'll probably do a couple of runs, build up some greater for keystones, uh, so it's all in one episode. Um, but uh, that will, of course, be next time. If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so, and you'll be told when the episodes go live in the future. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Diablo 3. See you soon!